Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. A conical vessel with vertex downward contains water to a depth of 5 centimeters. On adding 720 cubic centimeters of water, the level rises to 10 centimeters. Find the quantity of water which must be added in order that the level may rise to 15 centimeters. I thank Arth for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Let's first sketch a diagram. We have a conical vessel with its vertex pointing downward. It contains water to a depth of 5 centimeters. Now, 720 cubic centimeters of water are added and the level rises to 10 centimeters. So we're adding a height of 5 centimeters. We now want to know the quantity of water which will get the water to rise to 15 centimeters, which will be another 5 centimeters. So we need to calculate this volume of water. So how can we do that? Let's first draw radii of each of these three cones. Let them be A, B, C in increasing order. Now, we have three similar right triangles here. So, we have C divided by 15 is equal to B divided by 10 is equal to A divided by 5. We'll solve these equations so that we get expressions in terms of B. So we have A is equal to B over 2 and C is equal to 3B over 2. Now, the volume of this truncated cone will be equal to the volume of the larger cone minus the volume of the smaller cone. The volume of a cone is pi r squared times h all over 3. So we can calculate the volume of each of these cones. So we have 720, which is the volume of the truncated cone. That's equal to pi b squared times 10 all over 3 minus pi a squared times 5 all over 3. So let's simplify this equation. We'll multiply both sides by 3 over pi. Then we know that a is equal to b over 2, so we'll substitute in. We'll simplify this equation, and then we'll solve for b squared. So we get that b squared is equal to 1728 divided by 7 pi. Now we'll put this to the side. Now we want to calculate for v. So again, we need the volume of this truncated cone, which will be the difference in volumes of the larger cone and the smaller cone. We can use the formula for the volume of each of these cones to calculate v is equal to pi c squared times 15 over 3 minus pi b squared times 10 over 3. So let's work on this equation. We'll multiply both sides by 3 over pi. Then we substitute in that c is equal to 3b over 2. We will then simplify this equation, and we will solve v is equal to 95 pi b squared over 12, but we've solved that b squared is equal to 1728 divided by 7 pi. So we substitute in, and we get that v is equal to 13680 divided by 7, which is approximately equal to 1954.29 cubic centimeters. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.